Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Somos Biology. And today's lecture we are going to talk about the best way to prepare unit 6 of CSI UGC net syllabus. Unit 6 is plant physiology, okay. So plant physiology means in very simple words you can say botany lovers will love this topic because this is for their field. So if you are coming from botany then I don't need to tell much about it. You need to read it A to Z, everything, you, know? you should not leave it. Because unit 6 is a very important unit for CSI net exam, it carries a huge weightage because there are plenty number of questions asked from unit 6, okay. And uh, many questions asked from unit 6 uh, that including the plant physiology as well as plant anatomy few portions and also regarding uh, some other uh, properties of the plant including plant hormones and plant hormone signaling, plant hormone transport and so many things. So, which book you should use? Plant Physiology, Taz and Ziga. That's the book that you can actually use. I'll put that name in the description box so that you understand it. So, that's the best book uh, that usually we understand about plant physiology. Or any book you can uh, take if you are a botany graduate. You can choose any book uh, to study this plant physiology. Now, many students ask me uh, which one unit we should choose. Because, you know, there is plant physiology, there is animal physiology. Actually, in unit 7, they ask more human physiology. So, we can say that unit 6 is plant physiology, unit 7 is a human physiology. So, many students ask me whether we should choose uh, animal physiology, or, I mean human physiology or plant physiology. Uh, as per the question weightage, I always tell them to choose plant physiology. The reason behind it is that in animal physiology or human physiology, there are so many things. Human physiology itself is a subject of graduation and masters. So, as both me. But the thing is... In human physiology, all the subjects are there, like like its uh, digestion, digestive system, respiratory system, excretory system, muscle system, and all these things. Okay, A to Z, every single system is there, and all these things are in the syllabus, which will be very very tedious for you to prepare in this six months duration of time or one year duration of time of practice. So I always tell you to prepare for unit six. The reason behind it is that there are predictable questions from unit six, and there are not much predictable questions from unit seven. So from unit six. Plant physiology, the predictable questions are from few topics, okay. One is the photosynthesis. It's a patent topic, okay. C3, C4 cycle, CAM pathway. These are the patent topics from where you will get a question. And also the comparison between C3, C4 and CAM pathways and different types of plants and how they use different pathways and different situations. And, and comparison between the primary productivity between different situations on changing environmental parameters like changing uh, carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere or changing temperature and all these things very very important okay the second thing which is very important are the plant hormones plant hormones is another very important topic plant hormone means uh, that there is either uh, like auxin cytokinin zebralin ethylene abscisic acid these are the five hormones are most important and you all need to prepare these five hormones particularly the hormone uh, secreted like the the synthesis pathway of this hormone transport and uh, the action or signaling of the hormone. Signaling is important for all the hormones. Synthesis is important for auxin, zebralin, cytokinin and the transport is important for auxin only. But if you read for all of this, there is no harm in that. But this is kind of a suggestive way to tell you. Like if you check the last few years question paper, you will see question asked from all these topics repeatedly. That's why this is very very important. And there is a, one more topic that is uh, the plant uh, like nitrogen Metabolism in the plants. Nitrogen metabolism involved in the nitrogen cycle in the atmosphere, nitrification, denitrification and how exactly plant utilizes nitrogen taking up from the soil. That's another very very interesting concept in plant physiology. Another very interesting thing about the plant physiology is the phytochromes, the role of phytochromes. Okay, it's very very important. Uh, so these are the topics that is very important and and one more thing is uh, which is also connected with unit 12 that is the plant tissue culture okay so plant tissue culture means either the plant growth and the callus culture the formation of callus and so many different hormones and how they help the plant to grow and the totipotency of the plants and how from one cell a big plant can be formed all these things of the plant tissue culture is another very important concept which is generally asked we can put it in unit 12 as well as we can put it in unit 6 both is equally important so how should you prepare for unit 6 because as i told you in unit 6 you have uh, something that you need to understand 
and you also have many things that you need to remember because the cell signaling processes of hormonal signaling pathways and you also have uh, those uh, photosynthesis pathway particularly the kelvin cycle the steps of kelvin cycle and and uh, particularly enzyme rubisco rubisco's function how rubisco works by fixing either carbon dioxide or oxygen okay all these things you need to understand very very carefully so what you need to do again as this is a lot of cell signaling uh, going on you need to use flow charts to draw those flow charts about the cell signaling and just just uh, make those flow, flow charts and put it in the different walls in your study room. You can watch those, uh, those flow charts about those signaling processes so that you get a clear sense of understanding about those signaling processes for this unit. And also about the photosynthesis and all, you just need to know the common type of photosynthesis pathway that is C3 and also know the difference between C3 and C4. Uh, that's also cellular uh, pathway, cell signaling pathway, biochemistry between the C3 C4 difference and also the difference between C4 and CAM pathway differences. So that's what you need to understand and that's what you need to prepare for unit 6. Okay. So if you prepare like this, then this chapter is very good. You will get common question. Common means the question from the common topics from this chapter as I told you. If you practice it like this. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that. Thank you. Bye.